reverse percentages. In today's lesson, we will be looking at answering questions to do with reverse percentages. You will need a calculator for today's lesson um, and these questions in assessment or GCSE papers um, require you to have a calculator with you. So let's have a look at some examples. So this is an example of a reverse percentage question. Amber paid £45.50 for a skirt that had been reduced by 15% in a sale. What was the original price? So that's why it's called a reverse percentage because you are working, you're going backwards. You're working out what was the original price or was the original weight or whatever the original value was. So if you've got a skirt that has been reduced by 15%, we need to identify what percentage the skirt is worth. So the original value of your skirt would be 100%, yeah? 100% for the original value of your skirt. But the skirt is being reduced by 15%. So that means 100% take away 15%, okay? That would leave me with 85%. That means the skirt is worth 85% because it has been reduced by 15%. So what we're going to say is £45 and 50p is worth 85%. Okay. So we want to work out the original value, which is 100%. So we're going to work at 1% first because that's easier. And then we can work at 100%. Well, what do we do to 85 to end up with 1%? Well, we divide by 85, don't we? Because 85 divided by 85 is 1. So we're going to do the exactly same to the other side. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So we're going to do 45 pounds 50 divided by 85. And I end up with, right, we end up with um, a de long decimal. So I'm just going to write a few of them out. 0 0.53529, OK? Now we want to work out 100%, don't we? Well, what do we do to 1% to get 100%? We are going to times by 100. We do exactly the same on the other side. We times by 100. So I'm just going to times it by 100. And I end up with 53 pounds and 53 pence. I'm just going to round it up because obviously the next digit here is nine. So the two becomes a three. That was the original value of your skirt or the skirt that Amber bought. Um, and then obviously when it was reduced by 15%, she paid £45.50 and for it. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Okay, so this time, Eliza received a 7% pay rise. Her new salary is £43,280. What was her original salary? Okay, so again, we're going to say her original sal salary before is worth 100%, but she gets a 7% pay rise. So plus 7% would make it 107%. So her new salary is worth 107% because it's 100% added another 7% on to get to whatever she has now. So we're going to say £43,280 is worth 107%. We want to work out the original, which is 100%. So we're going to work out 1% first. Well, what do we do to 107 to get 1? Well, we divide by 107, don't we? Because 107 divided by 107 is 1%. We do exactly the same on the other side. We are going to divide by 107. So again, this is why we need a calculator. We're going to 43,280 divided by 107. And I end up with a decimal. I'm just going to write that out. 404.485981. I'm going to leave it as that. Well, we want to work out 100% now. So what we're going to do is, what do we do to 1% to get 100%? Well, we times by 100. So we have to do exactly the same onto the other side. We have to times that by 100 as well. So if I times that by 100 on my calculator, I end up with 40448 and then 60. Okay, I'm going to round that up. So her salary before her pay rise was £40,448.60p. And 
after her pay rise, she gets £43,280. And that's how we work out reverse percentages. If something's being reduced, um, like the above example, you're going to take away. So we did 100% take away 15% because it was reduced. But when something's being increased and we want to work out the original value, you add it on. Because this was a 7% pay rise, we did 100% plus 7%. So you have to think, is the question is the question a discount question? So you're going to be taking away or is it an adding question? So she's getting, they're getting a rise. That's when you add it on to 100%. That's it for today's short, quick recap on reverse percentages. Thank you for watching.